What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to God in prayer, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy. OK, had that strong, close and personal relationship with God as you're going to need it in these days. All right. The last days. Now, I had prayed about XRP, ladies and gentlemen. I prayed over questions to God that I had. OK, about XRP, the wealth transfer in general. And this is what the Lord gave me an understanding of. And, you know, when it comes to this whole wealth transfer, ladies and gentlemen, it is so. God is trying not to give away too much, but giving us instructions at the same time. So trying to figure something out that we've never experienced before, let alone new to us. It can be a process with God. So, you know, I told you guys that I will update you and if you have any questions of any sort feel free to ask um you know it's, it's new and god is patient so let's be patient with god and with ourselves and just follow the process of instructions okay so i was asking the lord about clarity on xrp like what is the deal um is it going to be something big for the future you know what's going on and he said, yes, XRP will be a major asset for the future. Keep it. He says, yes, keep it. OK, so the Lord is instructing you to keep that. Um, and basically, we're going when we keep our assets, the whole point of the ledger nanos X and S, they can store a lot of crypto. So you're going to have to take each crypto and how you get those on your ledger nano S or X is you got to send them through certain networks and that they're compatible with in order to get them into your ledger. But we're going to get into that, okay, in a little bit. I just want to, uh, later on, I just want to get you guys that clarity today. So through the XRP network, can you do that? And the Lord says, correct, sell, sell things high, buy it low right now. So what he means by this is, he says, once Bitcoin crashes, you will be in full position. So that leads me to think that Bitcoin is going to be the first to crash. And I was kind of God was giving me mental downloads. And I'm thinking, OK, why would that happen? And in order for us to go up, people have to go down. So right now, with Bitcoin is increasing a lot. Um, and Bitcoin, about 30K, you know, has been going up because a lot of people are trying to cling to their wealth, get on the Bitcoin trend and pattern and. I can check the markets right now. Um, hold on. Bitcoin is at 30K. So bit over it. So a lot of people, like I said, I think previously, a lot of people will get on the Bitcoin trend. I believe God told me that in another message. I'm going to have to find that. But he told me there would be people would jump on this Bitcoin trend. Right. And then it would crash and lead opportunity for us because People that don't have God, of course, they they idolize Bitcoin, money, all different types of things. Love for money and God will will take that away so that you can come to him. But the people that already have him that need increase, he's going to be there for you. OK, we just got to follow those instructions. So with Bitcoin, it's going to crash after a certain amount. Right. And we're going to buy it low. That's why people are setting what is called buy limit orders, buy sell limit orders for it. And if you can't just understand God will be there for you to sh get you prepared for it when it happens. OK, so don't be worried about none of this stuff. Just seek the Lord for instruction. Calm your nerves. You're going to be all right. So the whole point of Bitcoin, because I was asking a father, like, which one should we keep? Which one should we get rid of? Now, the Lord says this USDC will be safe. And so I was telling you about the USDC, but this is what he meant when he said USDC will be safe. He's talking about Bitcoin. I believe he was talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is not the actual big wealth transfer. It's just a bonus to help people out is what I'm gathering from Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin crashes, it's not going to be that all the banking systems are off uh, failing and down. They're still going to be operational from what I'm gathering, what he's giving me on this download. They're still going to be operational. 
when Bitcoin crashes. It's not going to be Shiba, XRP, uh, LUNC, XLM and stuff like that. It's not going to be those. Bitcoin, the reason he says once Bitcoin crashes, you will be in full position. Bitcoin is to help those who don't have a lot in like Shiba, XRP, LUNC and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's to help you spread that wealth into things that he's going to increase so you can increase that wealth. And also to help people, I believe he said this last message, help people uh, get out of their certain struggles that they're going through. So if you got to pay things off right now, if there are things that you need, like if you don't have a Ledger Nano, you say, Father, I need an increase. Like if at that point you still don't have a Ledger Nano S or X, that could be used to buy that. And you can send the amount of money you need only to that bank if it's not shut down already. If it's still operation, you can send that amount of money that you need only to that bank, let it process and pay whatever you need to pay off, pay uh, money to get that uh, Ledger Nano S or X. So Bitcoin is the kind of the thing that puts you in, thank you, Holy Spirit, puts you in position for the big boom that I've been hearing. They keep telling me, Michael, God, all the angels keep telling me the big boom, get ready. Listen, that's going to put you in position. Take advantage of Bitcoin because it's to assist you, okay? So in order for us to go up, people have to go down. Y'all y'all understand what I'm saying here? Okay. Um, and that's why he said the USDC will be safe because at that point, everything hadn't went down. So I just want to give correction because last video, I was kind of telling y'all uh, my understanding on what God was telling me about that USDC and to buy low, sell high, but don't sell everything. That's what the... The Ledger Nano XS is for to store your crypto because so the devil can't rob your coins because you will be able potentially to buy. Well, that's what it looks like it's going to go to buy things with those crypto and you can store those crypto on that ledger if that makes sense. So God gave me clarity on that. So thank you for that, Father. I love him so much because he is the author of. He's not the author of confusion. He's not the, a spirit of fear. He's he will give you that clarity and a, a sound mind. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for this. Um, and, you know, y'all, I relay messages because I'm trying to understand, too. I'm trying to take what God has given me and give it to you guys. Um, and there, with that Ripple case, that XRP case is going to play a major role in things. So XRP is going to open up a new system for us, essentially. That's what XRP is for. And give us that gateway to doing something new with a system. Everything else, Shiba could probably be used to be purchased at some point. Or purchase things at some point, excuse me. Um, so I, that's what I've been asking God. Which one do I sell? Which one do I keep? Because I want to make sure I keep the ones that's going to be beneficial for the long run. And get rid of those and sell and distribute my gains into the coins that are going to mean more and last more, you know, distributing your wealth. OK. And what I might be able to use for the right now for me to, for, you know. Right now in that you not USDC, if I'm in a position where I have to send something a little bit to the bank, if it's not shut down and use it for something I need, you know what I'm saying? So it's a distrib distribution of wealth. OK, in a very strategic way. God is very strategic. So Bitcoin was that bonus. XRP is that long term goal. Um, and the other ones that God has picked could be potentially used to purchase things. So keep those. Pray on pray to the Lord on which ones to keep, which ones to sell. Bitcoin is going to be that one you distribute everything into. OK, and it's to help the people out that need help that don't have the funds to get into the wealth transfer, okay? That big boom. So I just wanted to give you guys that clarity. You know, I'm trying to understand myself and what God is doing and just wrap my head around everything because this is new to all of us. And I'm just, like I said, I'll keep y'all updated. That's what I want to give you. 
for today. Something very short and simple. Um, make sure you, we're practicing on if you got that ledger on how to get certain coins into into your ledger. Okay, through which network, which ones to sell, pray on that. Which ones to to buy, pray on that. And you know, just the distribution. All right, pray over that. And make sure you pray over protection of your transfer because, again, with the shutdowns and the network error, errors and the causing of chaos with the whole exchanges, the devil's going to try to do make sure that you pray over protection of your transfer, okay? Um, and make sure you're on point with everything. Because the devil going to cause chaos and confusion. And we're going to be ready for him. All right. Um, as far as these exchanges go, I've been trying to figure out with the Lord, like, how long are these things going to hold up? Like, are we, you know, how is this going to work? You know, are they going to try to shut it down? So, you know, I'm just asking a lot of different questions. God is giving me answer by answer, day by day, piece by piece on what to do, how to store, where to go. And yeah. Um, thank y'all for watching this. If y'all have any input to share, feel free. We all in this to figure it out. We all have a piece of the puzzle here. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.